Hello guys, this is uh, Acorn Smasher bringing another video. This one I'm going to be talking through my. Uh, this is a playthrough of Theramore's Fall. Uh, first, I'm going to tell you about scenarios if you don't know. Well, this is the first one. Uh, I don't know why they put them out like at level 85 when in like a few days you can be level 90 and you can go to level 90. So it's not really going to be content anymore. But scenarios are basically a really small dungeon that is kind of quicker. You only have three people, and it's not as much of a dungeon because dungeons you either do quests or you can just go through the whole dungeon, kill the end boss, or just kill through bosses. And this one, you have to go through stages. Like this one is called Stage One to the Waterline. We have to go through all these uh, six boats, and we have to rig them. Like see this barrel right here? We have to right click it and rig to explode it. And once we have all six. Um, uh, we talk to this guy and we get to the next part. I right hear we're fighting Captain Talon. He does this move, Dancing Blades. So he has a big red circle. Have you ever done the um, fight that's coming out of mob uh, on beta called Gloom? I not that like he has like lots of circles and one of them under him is like if you're too close to him, he like body slams you. Well, he does. It's like a blade storm basically. If you're in it. If you don't know, warriors have a blade storm, and if you've never seen a blade storm, just get away from the person. You take a lot to help, like that guy did. I guess he just wants to stand in it. The scenarios are really great for DPS because we don't have to, like it. I just queued up, and it took me like what, like a minute to get the queue. So that's pretty cool. You can be a DPS. You can, like I guess this bear's tank. I guess he's tanking. I don't know. It's nice to have a tank though. It can be three DPS and it'll still be good. Especially if it's like not all mages or something. If it's all mages, it kind of sucks. Everyone's throwing the claw out. This is Mad Morden Morganson. I hate this guy the most because he uses this move that every like few seconds that knocks your up in there, and I hate it. Cause I can't cast anything. I got a call. Call from Pirate Service. Call from Pirate Service. Sorry about that. That was weird. I'm not picking it up because I don't know who, what, who it is or what it is. But. Yeah. The scenarios are pretty fun though. So far. I like this one mainly. It has a lot of storyline in it. Some of the ones in at level ninety they don't have much of a storyline. I but it's okay though. It's good way to get here. This one you just skip because the barrels were just down there. Aw. Oh. And what I just did there was fail. Uh, when you fall, you have to walk all the way back, I think, unless you can find a way. Never mind. Well, usually I thought you had to walk all the way back to the beginning and then go up. But there's a thing over here that you can go back up on. I hate that though. Well, I made it. I guess I didn't. Scenarios is probably one of the best things that they came out with on this. Probably because of the fact it's so easy. This guy, what he does, if I remember right, is um, he reflects. Yeah, I just had my play on myself. Yeah, the main thing about this um, scenario here in Theramore's Fall is uh, the fact that Garrosh is um, wanting all of Kalimdor. And this is one of the biggest uh, capitals in Kalimdor right now, other than the cities. 
So he's wanting to take this so it can hurt the alliance pretty well. If you see, there's like so much military here, so we take over this and um, basically a lot of stuff that we can do with it. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah, I can't wait till the. Uh, I think it's like a few more days to uh, miss them out. I don't try to get round 91st on my server, which is Shattered Halls. It's gonna be really hard. It's gonna take me like days. Or, well, not days. I mean, if it was days, I definitely wouldn't be able to get round first. I mean, I did like keep on playing for like hours and hours straight without like taking a break or anything, or I lose. I'd be really mad if someone makes a group just to kill like. Because uh, I heard of some stories where um, people just got low 85 per around 85 first by like making a group and just going and killing like nagas and just kept on killing them until they're like low 85 and it took like three hours. Uh, so I hope that like uh, they don't do that. I don't know when I do like anyone does that. That would be really mad. If I like, am I, am I in the middle of questing and I'm like level 87 I just see Rome 91st so I'm just going to stop and just like finish leveling like the next day or something. I would not keep on trying. I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, okay, Captain Dashing, if you've seen, he does his debuff or, to everyone. The CC mainly, and it, what it does is, I, get, I, don't, I still don't get it fully because uh, He's like male, and then there's like a lot of male characters, and they still get the debuff. Where I guess um, I don't know, it's weird, and like thinking that he's hot or something. It's really weird. Okay, so we just did that stage two. We had to talk to this guy. Stage three, drift him down. We had to do is kill this dwarf called Baldrick. Yeah, Baldrick. And we had to get to him killing all these ads. Try not to pull all of them because it will. Oh, my shit is really bad. I'm just gonna hold this guy. Might be good if I just heal. Yeah. I have a bad eyesight problem, so it's gonna be really hard. Cause um, gamma rays they affect me after like a long time, long period of time, like probably like eight hours or something. So my eyes, like I can't, I can hardly see like my lower right part of my like peripherals. But wait, what? Not a tank. What do you mean? <laughs> Does that mean like I shouldn't heal you or you can't keep on aggro, you can't get in bear form you know, taking all the damage. Yeah, I can't see like the lower part of my peripherals and all that stuff and I hate it. It really hurts too, so what I'm gonna try to do is my friend told me to just take a bunch of Tylenol. I'm not gonna take too much because I don't want to overdose or something and die in the middle of it. But yeah. Yeah, and also if y'all been noticing that like I've been playing some of my videos, it's a uh, Red Rescue Team, Pokemon Red Rescue Team, the old game for the Game Boy Advance. Oh yeah, this ad right here, the are more to this. I would take him out first because um, they use polymorphs. And, uh, he didn't get to use it, but I hate it because uh, sometimes she polymorphs me. So I can't do it. I can't keep on yeah, shout for him just to heal. I'll stay out of your health. I'm probably even better than you stay out of As long as you don't try to out your health. I hold it. So she added this, uh, the new, one of the um, talents for the shout priest is like, well, it doesn't have to be shout priest, but, or if I'm about to die, I just, like, um, get some shield up. That last, it's like a bubble. Like that, is there. Angelic Bulwark. 
They're like it's a major bubble that lasts for a while. Stage four, okay, so we kill them. Tanks for nothing. Yeah, we have to kill this big ship, and then we have to destroy these unmanned tanks. They're like, it's very simple. Just you have to run away from them. All this weird stuff. If you get hit by them, you, like you take a lot of damage. So here's the Thermor, and it's totally we need to see him. He's a Okay, no, he didn't get to do anything. I guess everyone's trying to find out about how we should target that person first. But yeah, what I was saying before is about the Red Rescue Team thing. Yeah. That, like, if y'all want to watch it, y'all can. It's just, I'm making, uh, I just want to play it because I haven't played it since, you know, when it first came out. So, and I just, I was like, where I'm just going to play make videos of it. It's a fun game, and maybe other people want to know about it. Also, um, I guess I can talk about scenarios a little bit more. Well, yeah, they're just like mini dungeons that go quicker, way quicker than usual. They're like way fun, and you get some like you get a thing called the spoil. Uh, I think it's a uh, different for each dungeon that they're called. Because uh, this one, it's called the um, Spoils of Theramore. Oh, uh, we all not talk about the boss. Well, let's see what he does. He's he just like the boss in Old War, if you guys know. Uh, uh, it's the first boss, though. But you have to run away from him like he's not doing. I might want to hear him up. So. You just gotta run away from him. See, I got targeted, so I'm getting chased down. All I'm gonna do is like pop my um, bubble, so I don't so I can run faster. And if he does that, he throwing a cannon at you. Just stay out of it if you've done lots of raids in a while. Then he's dead, basically. Now. Not since he's dead, and you can go over here, destroy these cannons, just go up and kill him. There's three of them, so I guess you can all split up after each one to get it done fast. Yeah, so, so yeah, we did it, I think. Two. Oh, I think. I mean, so far from what you've seen, this is basically what it is like. Like, they have, like, normal HP, like, if you're just regularly questing or something, that's just how much HP they usually have. Like, not, like, when you're level 90, you won't be 154 ticks, that would be way too easy to kill. So, like, it'd be like, I think, um, yeah, level 90, it's 393k, which is a regular mob. So, basically, you'll be seeing people that have, like, 130k, or 390k. And then the monsters are just fine. The, the bosses are probably just gonna have like three million health. It's probably just the only thing that's bad about it is it's way harder to get. Oh man, I better. I gotta do this. Uh, I guess I'll find some of the scenarios. Now, raids, uh, I'll try to get guides for them. I'll probably try to find the uh, pugs. Or I might even join a raid group. I don't know. It matters if people look at me like I'm good or something like that. The last, the last expansion, I'm only, uh, I think I was like only in like two raid groups the whole expansion. One for like a little bit of firelands. Like, wasn't that far we got into it. And then another one that was, um, I think. Wait, never mind, only one. The other one I did join, which was a heroic group, but I, I we never did any raids or anything, so I just, I didn't really care. Wait, make sure not to pull these guys. Wait. Oh, never mind.
say, he's wondering, like, where is the, um, I've done this done tonight a few times already, so I know what to do. And he's going the right way. So I'll try to get into a raid group, hopefully. I've gotten better at being a priest, because I was doing horrible DPS and everything at the beginning. I, I started playing on the, the beginning, like, uh, on Christmas. That's when I got my laptop, and my friend bought me a uh, while. Wow. And so that's when I started playing, and uh, around, like, February, like, last year, I think? I don't know. Yeah, I think the last year, like, 2011. That's when I got, like, somewhere around there, I got level 85. So that took me a few months to get the next expansions because uh, I had to wait a month every time for the next expansion. Now like it like um how um they put now if you uh, for twenty dollars you can buy all three of the first expansions. That's pretty cool. Um let's see. Yeah but if I do get into groups I'll try I'll try doing this where I'm talking to my uh, doing the raid. But I not, might not know as much as what I'm doing right here, so I'll probably be, I'll be as, uh, kind of as shocked as you to find out what's next or whatever. Like, oh, okay, so this is a mechanic, all that stuff. That's pretty cool. I've never seen the darkness do, um, fly more in this whole dungeon, so that's pretty good. They always, usually every time I'm in these dungeons, it usually always does it. Oh crap. I like how I keep on healing him, like, right at the end, when he's just about to die. Like, 8 KLs left, and then I heal him up. Oh yeah, and this boss, Hedrick Evan Kane, um, all the, if you remember all the captains, oh gosh, yeah, I can't, go. Yep. There's just so many ravens. Is, is that Hunter doing that? That's pretty cool, guys. Yeah, he's doing dancing plays like that one captain does. For just get out of there. Oh crap! The whole group. The other thing about uh, snares that I kind of like is if you pull something like safe in a dungeon, if you pulled a, another mob by accident, you know, like you try to like wipe, or if your group's good, and you can lizard it. Scenarios like you can accidentally pull and it wouldn't matter. These guys are so easy to kill. It was just like right them off. Oh crap. No. Oh, there we go. That's the first one. Probably more. And it's like a whole like five seconds. And now we got the key. Oh crap. One good. I want to guess I'll the person. And basically we let this guy go and the end of the dungeon. Then it'll show a scenario which you won't be able to see much of it. But basically what's happening is um, we're dropping the bomb off of, on uh, Theramore, trying to blow it up. And basically takes like most of Theramore out. But doesn't get to explode because um, it doesn't show it on the, uh, this side, on the horde side, but when you're playing, if I was like a lion right now, it'd, it'd show like the other part of it. Which is, um, they start diffusing the bomb, and they like diffuse it, and it's over. But it still took out like half of the um, Theramore. You see, I got the swirls of Theramore and just this point thing. You have a, it's like a slight chance you'll get anything good. Like a uh, really low chance. Other than that, you usually get like gold and five uh, horde fireworks. What was that? Oh, here it is. Spoils of Thermor. Open it. Yeah, I just got the same as usual. Twelve gold and my horde fireworks. I guess I'll show you the horde fireworks. Oh yeah, this is to the. Um, 
with him in this scenario. You'll only see like the first part and the other part I can't really show you because it's like uh, my computer is not operating well. It doesn't play well. Yeah, guys, that's basically the end of this video. Hopefully, you learned got, uh, learned anything about this dungeon scenario or whatever it's called. Please rate and subscribe if y'all can. This is the part where I was talking about you didn't see anything. I, I'm pretty sure it was the video about it was um, the Zeppelin flying over and dropping the bomb. That's what it sounds like. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to show you all the fireworks, so I guess it's not over, over yet. Wait, did he leave? Whoa. Oh, yeah, well. Nothing pretty all that matter about it. It's just some guy. So. See, if I use it right now, you can't really tell. Oh, wait, never mind. I left my. See, you see the horror symbol, all that stuff. You expand it. Like, it definitely, you can definitely see it. See, you see the horde symbol in the background. That's pretty cool. I like it. And there, there's a chance that you get an everlasting firework, which um, when you use it, I mean, you, it's a cooldown. It's not like just five or whatever. Well, that's basically the end of this whole video. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you that the wait, did I say it? Well, the um, the spoils of Derma also drop like 384s or whatever. I mean, like equipment that is like okay, like raid finder gear. I, at, there's a staff that drops out of it. I wanted to look at it to see what it looks like. It's probably ugly though, but yeah, it probably is good. Oh yeah, wait. Actually, they're telling they're telling uh, party that staff isn't bad at all. Looking doesn't seem like it would be. Well, guess I'll talk to you later, guys. Have fun.